going on YouTube? It's the Ginger Gamer, and today I'm going to be doing an OLED versus LED display uh, pros and cons type video. So this has nothing to do with the resolutions or anything like that. Uh, this is just my old phone that I had laying around. I couldn't do this video with my new phone because that's what I'm using to record. So basically, LED is uh, just the flat, normal type screen. It uh, stands for light emitting dialogue. If you guys cared, which you probably didn't. And uh, OLED is organic light emitting dialogue. So that just means that it can have the curve or the flex. Um, they have OLED TVs, and I don't think they have computer monitors like that yet, but it's probably going to be a thing of the future. Uh, I can definitely see it becoming more and more popular across uh, many phone makers or TV makers or anything like that. Um, this is the LG uh, G Flex, if you guys were wondering, and it features a 6 inch screen. So now let's stop talking about the phone itself and get into the screens. So, since it's curved, it's uh, supposed to be bet better uh, viewing angles for videos and type uh, videos and pictures and stuff like that. And uh, honestly, I don't feel like it's that much better. You can't tell, like, it's like you look at a flat and you look at the curved and you, I don't personally notice much of a difference. Uh, I know some people that do, but it it looks about the same to me. It definitely doesn't look worse, so you that wouldn't be a con, but it wouldn't really be a pro either. Something that would definitely be a pro about getting an OLED is when you hold it up to your uh, face or something like that, if you are making a phone call, it definitely shapes a lot better to your face. I know uh, phone calls and stuff are becoming a thing of the past now with texting and other stuff like that, but... I know a lot of people who still do make phone calls and stuff, so that it's it's nice. It uh it, it definitely feels better than holding like a giant rectangle or two rectangle to your face. So another thing as far as when you hold it, it uh I don't know, it does kind of feel better in the hand and I can see it being uh sturdier. So because and the reason why I say I can see it being sturdier is because when it's like this, you can see it's a little bit off the uh a little bit off the surface. But when you, when you press on it, it kind of just compresses, it kind of flattens it up. It's not as likely, I mean, if you press in the middle of this, it, it feels like it's kind of snap. But this, it will just go, it will become flat. And then if you press it more, then it would probably snap. So, I mean, if you, like, uh, I don't know, you place it on your floor or something and you have someone come by and they sit on your phone, it's less likely to snap and it's probably just going to flatten out and just after go back to its own old shape. So that's another pro, it's uh, probably going to be a bit sturdier. As far as cons go, there's not too much. Um, I can understand some people not liking the curve because it does kind of feel weird in your front, uh, your hand at first. And you might have to get used to it. And uh, I can see some people not being able to get used to it. So if you don't like the feeling and you don't like that, I just say don't buy it. I mean, it's not like... I can see it being a con, but if you really don't like the feel of your phone because it has a curve, then I don't see why you would buy it in the first place. So, as far as any other uh, cons, there's really not too much. I mean, there's not a huge difference. Like, you get used to it very quickly. And uh, there's not too many pros either. It's uh, You get used to it so quickly that it almost begins to feel like the same exact thing as a normal LED. And as far as uh, screen resolutions or picture qualities or anything like that, it's the... I mean, if you're it's 720p, 720p, it's, it looks the exact same, really. Um, so, the type of screen is not going to matter for the picture quality. But, I mean, mm, it kind of it kind of stands up a little easier uh, with the curve. But it, again, it's not. It, it still doesn't completely stand up. It's it's not a huge difference. I know a lot of people are super excited about OLED, and I can understand why. Because it's just showing what you can do with technology and things like that. But it's not a big enough difference that I would say, yes, you have to get OLED versus a normal LED screen. Or no, do not get it at all. Basically, if you want it to say, yeah, look at me, I got a curved phone, go for it. And uh, you got the money to back you up, then definitely go buy it. Um, you're not going to notice much of a difference. Like I said, when you put it to your face, it, uh, it does feel a little bit better. And... It looks about the same for videos and things like that, but there's really nothing bad about it. So, if you don't like the feeling of it, I guess don't buy it. But if you like the feeling, then you're not gonna 
you're not going to miss out on anything that you would in, that you would be getting with a normal screen. If anything, you'll just get a little bit more. So that's about it for this video. It was kind of quick. Um, there wasn't that much to talk about, but I hope that helps you guys uh, understand the curved displays versus the normal displays. And uh, if you guys have any questions about it, just leave the question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer that as soon as possible. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you liked it enough, then subscribe so that you can see more videos. Also, if you want to see this phone in more detail, I have a review on it on my channel so you guys can go check that out. So thanks so much for watching and I will, get, I will see you guys in future videos. So, see ya.